Welcome. In this session, we are going to discuss about very common coding problem in technical interviews. Given input string, find the longest palindromic substring. What is palindrome? A given string is said to be palindrome if reverse of the string is same as given input string. Here is an example B A B. It is same even if you reverse it. This string is said to be palindromic string. Now the given problem is we need to find out the longest palindromic substring in the given input string. Here is an example input string B A B A D. So B A B is the longest palindromic substring. Even A B A also longest palindromic substring. It is valid answer. In the example 2, this is the input string C, B, B, D and B, B is the palindrome here. We need to find a logic to identify longest palindromic substring in the given input string. What is our approach here? I am going to talk about expand around center approach in this session. Rather directly getting into the approach, first we will split our discussion into two parts. In the first part, we will understand the logic for identifying palindromic string. In the second part, we will find a logic to identify longest palindromic substring. Let's start with the first task, how to find palindromic string. There are various approaches, but I am going to explain the approach which is required to identify palindromic substring. Here is an example input string, madam. One way to identify is it palindrome or not, just reverse the string and compare. Another way is start comparing character by character from both edges. I mean character at index 0 will be compared with character at index 4. If both characters are matching, then we will compare character at index 1 with character at index 3 and so on. If all characters are matching, then it is said to be palindrome. There is another approach. Take two pointers called left and right. Find the mid position of the given input string. Index 2 is the mid position. Now make both left and right pointers position at the midpoint. So this is L, this is R. Now compare characters at both left and right pointers. Since both pointers are pointing at same index, it is same character. In the next iteration, move pointers one step in their respective direction. Left pointer will be at index 1, right pointer will be at index 3. Now compare both characters. If they are same, we will move to next iteration and continue the same process until we reach edge of the string or until we see mismatch of characters. In this process, if we don't find any mismatches, then this string is said to be palindrome. Notice here, this input string has odd number of characters. The length is odd. So it is easy to identify mid position. Index 2 is mid position here. What about if input string with even number of characters, the length is even number, how can we find mid position? The approach is slightly different in this case. Here is an example string with even number of characters. In this case, the midpoint is between index 3 and index 4. So we will place left pointer at index 3, right pointer at index 4. Now compare both characters. If they are equal, then we will move to next iteration. In the next iteration, each pointer will move one step in their respective directions. Left will be pointing to index 2, right will be pointing to index 5. Now let's compare both characters. If they are same, we will continue the same process until we reach edges or until we face any mismatch of characters. If there are no mismatches found, then this string is said to be palindrome. 
So this is the approach as a step one to identify palindrome in our overall approach. Now let's discuss step two. In step two, we need to identify longest palindromic substring. Here is an input string bananas. In this, the longest substring is a n a n a. We need to find this. So what is our approach? As we discussed, it will be two step process. In the first step, we will iterate over the input string and search for palindrome. Let me explain. In the first iteration, we'll be at index zero, character b. We will be having a function called find palindrome, which will take input string and left and right pointer. This function will do multiple iterations to identify palindromic substring boundaries if exists. What I mean here, inside this function, initially both pointers, left and right, will be pointing to index 0. Since both are at same position, the character will match. When we compare character at left and right, the character will match. Now we have to move to next iteration. Since the left pointer cannot move further because we are at edges, we have to stop processing. So B itself act as a palindrome, which is length one. So we will simply return its length one. So we will store the position and length for the further processing. So position equal to index one, find length equal to one. Now in the next iteration, the cursor will move to index one, character A we will call find palindrome function with left and right pointer values as one. Again, it is going to be same process. Inside this function, both left and right will be pointing at index one, L, R. We will continue the same process. Left and right have to move one step in their respective direction. So left will be here, right will be here, and we will compare both characters. They are not matching. So we didn't find any palindrome. The only palindrome we found here is single character A. So we just return its length, which is one. So we will compare our finding length with previously stored length. Both are same, so no need to replace it. We'll consider the longest substring as of now is B. So in the next iteration, the cursor will move to index two, character n. Now we will call find palindrome function with both left and right pointer values as two. So inside palindrome function, find palindrome function, now both pointers left and right will be at index two. Since it is same character, we will move one step left pointer will be here, right pointer will be here. Both characters are matching. Again, we will do next iteration. So L will be here, R will be here. Both are not matching. But we found one palindrome string here, which is with three character length. So written length as three. So three is greater than one update this. The position is index two. So if we continue this process, same process for each character here in every iteration, then at index three here, we are going to get the longest palindromic substring A, N, A, N, A. So this is our approach to find the longest palindromic substring. I have to update one more point here. The resulting palindrome can be even number in length or odd number in length. The discuss approach only works for palindrome with odd number length. In order to support even number palindrome length, we will do palindrome scan twice in each iteration. That means we are going to call find palindrome function twice. In the first call, the left and right values will be same, same as index number. But in the second call, 
the left will be same as index the right pointer value will be index plus one so this will address even length palindrome substring now we will write code for this logic first we will write a helper method to scan palindrome substring private int expand around center which takes input string input left pointer and right pointer we will use while loop make sure that we are within the boundaries and both characters at left and right pointers are matching left greater than or equal to zero and right less than input dot length and input dot care at left double equal to input dot care at right if the condition is true then move one step in their respective directions that means left we should decrement one step right we should increment one step finally return the length return right minus left minus one now create a function called longest palindrome public string longest palindrome which takes input string validate input if input double equal to null or input dot length less than one then return empty string if input size is just one then return the string itself if input dot length double equal to one then return input declare fields to capture palindrome details in each iteration int start equal to zero int substring length equal to zero now iterate over the input string character by character we will use for loop for int i equal to zero i less than input dot length i plus plus make a call to expand around center function assume that the palindrome length will be odd input comma i comma i in this case the pointers left and right values are same we will store the result in length one equal to again make a call to expand around center function this time assume that the palindrome length will be even i'll copy this paste it here the resulting length will be two and the right index will be i plus one now compare both resulted lengths and consider only the max one so here int length equal to math dot max length one comma length two now consider this result only if the current palindrome is bigger than previous one if length greater than substring length then start position equal to i minus length minus one by two substring length equal to len finally return the string so here we have to extract the substring based on the start and substring length return input dot substring start comma start plus substring length so we are done with the code I have already added main method to save some time. I'll just uncomment this. We are making multiple calls with multiple inputs. Let's run. Hope we don't get any errors here. Yeah, the result is as expected. We got all longest substring, palindrome substring as part of the result. Thanks for watching. Please do like the video and do subscribe to the channel if you are not. Thank you.